Yeah, so I'm in the preparation of uh, cutting a gear and I have a blank installed here on an arbor with a counter center and uh, I'm checking on my measurement device uh, yeah how concentric it is right now so let's lift the pin here and make a round so that was from minus three hundredths of a millimeter to on the other side plus four five shortly back to zero so it means uh, uh yeah plus five hundredths of a micrometer and minus four hundredths of a mi micrometer it is uh, out of the center and uh yeah i never uh cut a gear before but uh, let's go with that so hello I have here a gear wheel and pinion cutting machine um, yeah it's very well made uh, I like the quality very much and yeah let's uh, give it a spin it's a very this motor gives a very friendly sound It's in rubber here, which takes the, uh, absorbs all kinds of vibrations on both sides. Uh, yeah, this motor, it's uh, possible to, to change it, uh, the, the distance from the pulley here to give uh, the correct tension on the wire. And you see in the beginning how it a little bit, yeah, have this torque goes into the rubber here. And uh, yeah, low sound. Uh, it's friendly for to work with yeah it comes with a, an, a very big dividing plate and so here's the list of all the possible divisions and I decided uh, yeah um, this is a beautiful opportunity for me to, to um, for the first time in my life I uh, make a gear I'm curious uh, how that works and uh, yeah from my uh, Shovelin uh, safety screw cutting set I'm missing one gear it's the uh, gear with 48 uh, te teeth and a module of uh, 0 0.75 and so on the internet I found two formulas uh, how you can uh, calculate the diameter of the blank so I have a blank installed here on an arbor and uh, yeah this i'm not sure i could not find it but uh the, yeah, how deep i need to go with my uh, cutting hour this is the number six uh, for this amount of teeth 35 to 54 so my 48 fits in there and yeah i uh, so i'm guessing i need to go in one and a half millimeter two times the module but i'm not sure i could not find it yeah it's my first time i'm not a specialist um, this is nice, here's a clock installed where you can see how deep you go. So uh, yeah, already did the preparation. Here I have the blank. I, did, I put this um, gear cutter uh, in, the, in the center. So here's a, a screw which you can loosen and put it in the center with the help of, uh, of the counter center. Uh, you can also put here uh, this, this one to help find uh, the middle. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I found the correct uh, uh, line of uh, holes, and I, with a pen, I already colored the ones which I need to have to make 48 uh, teeth and the correct division. Um, yeah, I checked the concentricity of my blank. Um, uh, I made a separate video, and it's. Uh, minus 400 and plus 500 and uh, yeah without experience i don't know if that's bad or that's good and uh, and also uh, i don't know in how yeah how many cuts i'm going to make one cut can i do it in one so i decide first i will make the cut in yeah i go in every time half a millimeter so three cuts for one uh one teeth 
So let's uh, yeah, let's uh, have a have a go. I have a little bit of a cutting oil here, which I will put. So let's go in half a millimeter and see what happens. Sounds good to me. Another half. So that's my first uh, teeth ever. Um, yeah, I'm very excited actually. Uh, I like it a lot. I go to my uh, first haul. Uh, yeah, let's put on some uh, some oil. For the second division. Um. That's a half, and we go in another half. Let's have a look with this fantastic zoom option. Ah, interesting. Okay, and uh, yeah, uh, this is. Uh, I will continue, but. Uh, and I will show the result uh, later on. Thank you for watching. Ah, so hello. <coughs> I wanted to share my uh, first result of the gear which I was cutting with this uh, gear cutting machine. And uh, <coughs> so yeah, this is the arbor for the blank. And this is the, <coughs> the gear cutter I was using with the bushing from 10 to 7, if I'm uh, correct. 20 degrees, uh, module point zero point seven five. And then uh, this one is suitable for teeth from 35 till 54 teeth. So this is the, the original Shablin uh, gear and I was this is number 50. I was missing uh, number 48 and the original one uh, fits in the uh, thread cutting attachment of the Shablin 70 uh, on this one. And uh, so this is the one which I was cut. Uh, on the machine and uh, yeah I put the number in there so 48 uh, teeth I also created this uh, small slot here that was uh, difficult because I don't have the correct tools to do that so I was using um, something like this in an amateuristic way and then I was putting this kind of blades between slowly to to get the to get it to the correct size step by step so that was a lot of work but uh, yeah in the end I uh, was successful so this is the part fitted on the Shablin 70 
so here <coughs> on the right side the original Shablin gear and on the left side the newly made gear yeah so I did not uh, know how deep I needed to go I did uh, 1.5 millimeter and uh, you know yeah that's uh, it looks like I could go a little bit more but uh, I'm not sure I don't I just need this knowledge so let's go to a maximum zoom here so I see in the shoveling gear there's more play than in mine so maybe I should have gone in 1.7 but uh, yeah I think uh, I'm really happy with the with the result. I, will, I think it will uh, work fine. So uh, thank you for watching. A really nice project to do on a rainy day, cold in the Netherlands. Bye bye.